Iharu is just a great depiction of what we can be whenever we do have too much self-doubt, but at the same time, what we can be whenever we put that self-doubt to the back of our minds, man. The powerhouse valedictorian, Atahachi Oji Technical College, Iharu Furuhashi. This is somebody in the series that has been doing massive things for us lately, but I still don't see him getting the respect that he deserves anywhere. So today, I'm here to service my man. We're not really gonna do a character analysis, but more so just giving my open thoughts about what he's been doing recently, and even what he did earlier, and obviously about how funny my man is. But more than anything, I think that Matsumoto is just really using Iharu to portray some, um, just some life learning lessons. So, without further ado, it's Dalton, AKA The Sly Senpai. Welcome back to our channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you do end up enjoying it, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and let me know what you think about my boy Iharu. Gotta be top five characters in the series. And other than that, let's get into it. So more than anything, man, Iharu's been hyped these past few weeks. You feel me? Like, Iharu saving Reno and basically helping him snap out of that daze that he was in. Iharu saving Reno way back whenever we had our first mission on the third division and Kaiju number nine was about to kill Reno, but then Iharu dove and got him out of the way. So like, we've always had this very um, heroic viewing of Iharu as the reader, but Iharu doesn't have that same heroic feeling inside of himself. So it's so easy for us to like Iharu and see how much of a hero that he is. But to him, for the longest time, up until obviously this past chapter 63, but for the longest time, he just never saw himself as a hero because a hero to him is somebody that was always saving people, like how he got saved when he was a child by Mina Ashiro. So whenever he thinks of heroes, I feel like the people that he always names off is Mina Ashiro, Gina Earl Isao, um, Reno, and then General Narumi as well, which are all people that even whenever we read the series, obviously we think of them as heroes because they're just the strongest people in the series. But something that's awesome about Iharu to me and what Matsumoto is doing to portray Iharu is I think that if there's one emotion that could describe Iharu, it would be self-doubt. You know, we all have that self-doubt all the time and that's something that you deal with on a day-to-day. You know, am I, am I living my life to the fullest? Am I chasing my dreams to the fullest? And are, am I, are, boo, I can't talk, boy. But also like whenever people are around you and you have peers next to you that are doing the same things that you're doing, I think that Iharu does a lot of self-doubt in comparing himself to others, especially our boy Reno. I remember earlier in the series, Reno started with his suit output percentage at an 8% and Iharu started with his at a 14%. The next time that we saw them training and they had gotten on training for about two months, Reno's suit output percentage was all the way up to an 18% because Reno's ambitions were that he wanted to get stronger for somebody. So there was nothing that was gonna hold him back from making sure that Kafka didn't have to transform. But Iharu's ambitions for getting stronger, what are they? And I think that that's something that Iharu has to start realizing himself. So like the next time that we saw Iharu's leveling up, he only leveled up 6% to 20% as opposed to Reno going up 10%. And he kind of rubs it into Reno's face and is like, yo, keep that ass in check. Like I'm still older than you. I'm still the boss here. And Reno's like, bro, I'm not even trying to compare myself to you. Like, what are you talking about? But... <clears throat> I think that like we've kind of seen it slightly this whole time where Iharu is super competitive and it's good to be competitive, but competitive can be to a fault. You still have to realize your ulterior motives at the end of the day. So Reno is competitive in a sense, but not competitive in the way that Iharu is where Iharu's whole justification for why he is on the defense force and why he, he should be stronger than somebody is just him comparing himself to somebody else, which is that self-doubt, you know what I mean? So something that we all deal with on a daily basis and something that Naoya Matsumoto is portraying in a great way because even though Iharu does have that self-doubt, he also shows us what we can be whenever we just kind of put that self-doubt to the back of our mind, you know what I'm saying? Whenever Iharu realized like, I hate this, like I don't want it to be like this. Reno's out there acting like somebody completely different than what I've seen before against Kaiju number nine and I'm out here about to run away. And right as soon as he realized that, 
all self-doubt left the scene. He shot that flash up in the sky and immediately dove and tackled Reno out of the way from quite literally getting like shotgun blasted by Kaiju number nine. So that was one example of him just kind of putting that self-doubt to the back or think about times whenever you put all of your self-doubt to the back. Especially, I think that the best example is whenever we were in our most recent mission and Reno was quite literally out of it. He didn't know what to do. He lost his mental and all he could keep doing was wanting more and more power. And whenever Iharu saw that, we gotta remember earlier in the mission, Iharu was just nothing but self-doubt and comparing himself to Reno the whole time. He was mad that Reno even got to use the suit in the first place, so he told us that he was actually kind of happy that whenever um, Reno first did a trial test and he wasn't necessarily compatible off, like, off rip, but then, even more so whenever the mission was about to start, Iharu had more self-doubt because he was like, dang, like just standing next to Reno, like I can just feel how strong he is. Like I can feel the suit output, the coldness from the suit. And then right as soon as he sees Reno take off from the mission, mad once again, he's like, what? Like Reno can move that fast now? And you just keep seeing like these all like small steps of self-doubt that whole time, this whole mission. But right as soon as, like I said, he sees Reno in that day state, immediately puts all that self-doubt to the back and he charges towards Reno and even Captain Ogata is like, what? How is Iharu moving this fast? He only has 24%, which I forgot to say, but leveled up from 20 to 24%. And he's like, how is he moving that fast? He's only at 24%, like only 24% suit output level. So then next thing you know, he's like, hey, check in on Iharu and see what like his actual suit output level is. And we figure out that his suit output can spike all the way up to 42%. To put things in perspective, before Reno started going crazy as hell, his suit output per uh, percentage was only at 43%. So 1% higher than what Iharu can do whenever he has no self-doubt and he puts it all on the line or what they call it in the series, whenever he's in the zone, all the athletes know what being in the zone is. But whenever he's in the zone, he goes all the way up to 42%. And that's him putting everything to the back of his mind and all that matters is what's at hand. So, and that's what something that like, we just also have to do as life goes on. You know what I mean? Like sometimes I didn't even know if I wanted to make a YouTube channel at first. Actually, I, I always knew that I wanted to make a YouTube channel, but do you know how like intimidating it can be to make videos? You can make videos and somebody can not watch it and just think that your video is shitty or maybe like you really want to grow quick but you just have to realize that things are a patient game. Maybe you don't want to grow at all, you know what I'm saying? But like at the end of the day, you're posting videos on the internet for other people to look at. And like that can create a lot of self-doubt right there. I know plenty of other people that probably want to make YouTube videos, but they have that self-doubt. So Iharu is just a great depiction of what, what we can be whenever we do have too much self-doubt, but at the same time, what we can be whenever we put that self-doubt to the back of our minds, man. And I don't know, just something about Iharu talking about how these walls are gonna come up in our lives. And at the end of the day, you can either just sit there and stare at the wall or to get further in life and progress further in life, you can just keep hitting that wall over and over and over again until you finally break through. And that's something that we all just gotta carry with us, man. So I don't know, just talking from the heart. I didn't have no script about Iharu. Like I said, he ain't getting no love. And I just have to talk about why I love Iharu so much in this series these last few weeks. Um, I don't know what y'all think about Iharu, but I'm gonna keep on bringing all more Kaiju number eight content. Thank you for watching this video. You already know it's the end of the video, so. <clears throat> hey, that's that falsetto for you, boy.